Hi there, my name is Casey. I am a indie makeup lover. Um, I go by Vanity Case Makeup on all my socials. And basically, I pretty much live and die for makeup. So, um, especially sparkly, shifty, spooky, colorful, intense, multi-chromatic. Like, yes, that's me. Um, that's all my stuff that I like. So, anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Glad to have you here. Um, we're going to be creating a look today with two of my newer and actually most favorite palettes ever from one of my favorite brands. This is the Heather Austin palette in collaboration with Adept. Um, Adept Cosmetics makes some of the most beautiful shimmers, um, multi-chromes, duochromes, like I'm just moving it so you can kind of see the flips of some of these shades. Like gorgeousness. And I'm also gonna pair this beauty with the House of L palette, which I have had trouble putting down since I got it. Same thing with the Heather Austin, but like this, this is just like, this just speaks to me, like in levels that like not many things do. So this is my spirit animal, this multi-chrome right here. And then this one is like my reincarnated spirit animal, I guess, I don't know. Um, so I have no clue what I want to do. Um, I'm not sure if I'm wearing this tonight to um, the meeting that we're going to. I have no idea. But we're just going to create a look and then I'll probably get dressed after. Just because, um, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let the uh, brushes kind of do their thing. And I, like I said, haven't really got a chance to combine just these two palettes using just the mattes and just the shimmers um, that are in these palettes. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to prime my eyes and throw my brows on and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> my eyes are primed and my brows are on. Um, I used my temporary tattoo brows. I used my NYX um, Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in Black to blend in this little bit of brow that I actually do have with this fabricated brow here um, along with what I fill it in first with the um, this is just a spoolie but the um, that's not what I fill it in with this is the tool I use to fill it in this is what I fill it in with the granite brow powder duo by Anastasia Beverly Hills so I just you know fill in this part and kind of run it over the tattoo part and then I add hair strokes and clean everything up and then I prime my eyeballs and also use the eye primer to clean up underneath you know and just snatch my brows a little bit more with a flat brush such as this random one that I don't know the name of um but I used oh my lord like it's right in front of me and I couldn't find it I use this shade one juvia's place primer for like this part and then to clean up my brow just because this is like so bright that is so bright that it just looks a little funny sometimes underneath the brow bone unless you're going for that which I mean I can but I figured I would use my P Louise in the shade room or two um, for that so anyway I still don't know what I want to do so I'm gonna stare at the shades for a minute and I will be right back to start applying some eyeshadow all right so I have a little bit of an idea. Um, oh, and by the way, this is an essential step for, you know, your eyeshadow before you start putting it on. Make sure you pounce out your uh, eye primer if you've let it sit for a few minutes because you don't want it to crease. Um, yeah, I had an idea and now I just lost it. So I think it started with PAO2 from the Heather Austin palette, which is the burgundy shade, and I'm picking it up rather heavily on a JS and Morphe 12. Now I just lost where the shade is. And I am going to start on the outer corner and start packing it on where I want it the heaviest. And blending and packing. Mm 
I'm kind of figuring out my little shapey shape here. So I'm just kind of feathering because it's going to make the transition into the next color a little bit easier. And I'm just, as I go, trying to figure out what the, uh, what the shape I want is for the rest. Because I've been doing a lot of multicolored creases, so like boom, 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 three different colors. But I kind of just want to do like a gradual, a gradient, not a gradual one, but yeah, a gradient. So we're going to pick up some more of PaO2 and work to blend that. And it's like so out of my comfort zone to put dark colors here. So I'm going to try that today. I mean, because I am going to be cutting my crease, you know, that's just, that goes without saying. Um, however, um, you know, I want the gradient kind of all the way. So I am going to be bold or a little bit more bold than usual and take that in to where it would normally be not my thing or I, I may that's what it's looking like right now I may use another color here but as far as right now goes it's looking like it's going in there so Ooh, I kind of want to use Atlas just for that little stretch. And this is Atlas, which is this warm brown. I'm just going to go like that. Like, just a little. Just a little, because it just, like, it just makes more sense to me. And like I said, I'm all about going outside my comfort zone, but I'm trying to do something different while also putting on a look that I'm gonna like to wear because a lot of times like I said it just feels weird to put dark colors in here and every single time I do a halo eye I just don't like the way that it looks like I'm gonna add one more light hold please so I added a couple more lights and like hopefully that makes it a little easier to see and I am just kind of messing around with that inner corner crease area so I'm going to go into the House of L palette and go into the brighter orange or red or reddish orange, whatever you want to call it, and pick up a little bit. And it's called Monel. Um, I'm going to pick up a little bit with that same brush and start, you know, putting my next color down on the outside of this beautiful PAO2 color. And just feathering those two colors, doing the 50 50, 50% 50 up here in the untouched um, canvas, and then 50% on the purple. And just working so that nothing is too intense anywhere. Just being careful where I put my pigment. Coming back in and dipping a little bit more and we're gonna start re-intensifying this orangey red. Am I loving this right now? Not really. Um, I'm hoping that my vision is gonna translate because right now it's looking a little wonky, but I'm sure like 90% of my looks, it's a trust the process type thing. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna take e L, which is the um, lighter peach from the House of L, and kind of use that to feather that in to the Atlas shade and just not like like I just forgot to add color there so I don't want a ton of intensity in that inner corner 
as I've just said for the hundredth time. All right, so now with my furthest away shade from the gradient, we are going to use this BH number five brush from whatever set this is, don't remember. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of Mythology, which is that yellow from the Heather Austin palette. And I am going to tap it off just for this first run here. And I'm going to start blending this on that orange. And here I am doing a sunset look when I didn't want to. <laughs> Even though sunset looks always look nice, but I just feel like the color... Um, like the color combo is just kind of played out like so I try to do other things but I feel like I've been using a ton of green lately because we all know you know or you may not but like I love grungy grunginess and green is one of my favorite colors so but okay so now we're gonna go back I'm like I said I'm just gonna trust the process so gonna go back with mono and go in the reverse order and just re-intensify the pigment and this is where you definitely want to pick up quite a bit so let me not cover it with my mirror hit it with a little mythology just to because I really lost a little bit too much of the yellow okay all right I don't you know hate that and so we're gonna clean the brush off and go back with PAO2 which is the purple or burgundy mauve whatever you want to call it and re-up on that color that I lost Okay, I was just checking my blend in my mirror right here. Mm, now I gotta figure out what shimmers I wanna use. Ooh, I don't know. All right, so anyway, I'm going to fool around with the blend a little bit and catch this eye up and I will be back momentarily. All right, so both eyes are caught up and I am going to take micellar water on a Q-tip um, and I'm gonna clean up my shape for my shimmer shadow. Ooh, that was a lot of shh 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 shh. All right, anyway. Ooh, I don't know if I wanna do a full or a half. We're gonna do that. Okay. All right, I'm going to catch up the other eye and figure out if I'm going to prime it or what. So I'll be right back. Oh my God, I'm having the hardest time picking a shimmer. Ooh, this is such a hard choice. I don't know, but I primed my, or reprimed my, or finished cutting my crease, whatever you want to call it, with the Maybelline um, Superstay. And I love this. I hated it when I first got it because it was like cement and I didn't like set it right under my eyes and now I've been using it for my eyes, underneath my eyes, everything. Anyways, I think we're going to do red under my eyes so maybe I'll do, we're just going to go with Smith because that was my first instinct and I'm kind of curious to use this um, Duraline stuff as a shimmer glue um, because Leora who is a youtuber um, and very very talented artist said she uses that instead of NYX glitter glue 
or shimmer glue, whatever you want to call it, and it seems to work for her. So I'm going to put a drop or two in this little mixing palette, and I am going to pick up as much shimmer as I can on my brush, and this is a fluffy uh, Moda brush, yes, small shader brush. I like to use my shimmers this way. Make sure that this is patted out so there's no creases on this and I'm gonna pick up a bunch of Smith on both sides of my brush because I will not spray or put liquid on a brush and then go directly into the shadow I pick up the shadow first and then I'm gonna take a little bit on either side it's probably too much hopefully not and we're gonna go like that and it's painting on beautifully, but I'm going to start tapping because I don't want it to appear textured. Because usually when I smooth it on like that, it ends up looking very textured when the folds start happening. When, you know, you like open and close your eyeball. So, and picking up some more now that the brush is not super, super saturated anymore. And going like this. It's a beautiful Granny Applesmith color. Okay, so yeah, that's looking pretty good. I guess the true test is going to be the wear. The wear test. And I'm not taking it all the way in here because I think I do still want to use a different shimmer. And I don't know which one that is. So I'm picking up my mirror and, you know, just making sure that I'm getting up to the line here without going over. And I think I, oh, it's so hard. Which one should I use? Can, like, someone tell me? Like, can we see those shifts? Like, I think I'm going to use Passport. Oh, yeah, because I said I was going to use one of the reds from House of L underneath. So, all right, so we're going to go just in here on the inner like fifth of my lid it's not even really like the inner third it's more of like a fifth and my inner corner with um uh, passport which is a little bit of a flakier shade but it's so pretty and that's from the um heather austin palette and just blending that together i'm gonna take jorel actually which is from the Adept. Um, I swear to God, you could take a shot every time I say Adept, you'd be drunk. If you drink. Um, which I don't. But I'm going to take Jorel from the uh, House of L palette and use that to kind of feather those together a little bit. That is just a regular shimmer. I don't think that's like a duo or a multi-chrome. Well, I know it's not a multi-chrome. But, and I don't really think it's a duochrome, but it's a beautiful, sparkly shimmer. So, like, can we look at that? I'm making a really ugly face right now. <laughs> but, I mean, you'll obviously see this after. Alright, so I am gonna wipe my hand off here now that I've picked most of my shades. Um catch the other eye up and I will be right back all right so I am going to oh ow remove the tape and look at that sharp line I love it all right so and obviously I got to clean up the fallout but I'm not going to do that just yet because I still have to do some of my lower lash line which a lot of times I'll go back in and re-intensify when I am done with my concealer and stuff after, um, but we're not going to do that yet. So I'm going to take Cal L, which is the shimmer red, not the duo chrome red or multi-chrome, um, from House of L. And I'm going to take that on the lower lash line. But somehow it still is coming off kind of shifty, but and that's a um i don't know what this this is an eco tools brush it's a double ended fluffy plus um flat which i really like the flat end for my lower lash line 
connecting it to where I dragged the inner corner shape down, which was, I think, past four, yeah. Okay, so there's that. And like I said, I'll fix that. I'm gonna hop off camera. I'm gonna add liner, lashes, face, and accessories. And I'll be back to show you the finished look momentarily. All right, this is the finished look. And that little birthmark right there, it's not patchiness, it's literally just a little birthmark. Um, but these are the close-ups, so you can see the blend and the sparkles and the shifts. And, of course, my Lele Posh and Unearthly highlighter combination that is blinding. And one thing I hate more than anything is not being able to see a look, so that's why I like to add the close-ups. And then a little full face shot that's not blurry. By the way, it's not because I'm trying to hide the look. It's just because when you do like a slow-mo blurry, you can really kind of see all the sparkles. So, But you can see everything clearly in this full face shot. little slow-mo. And yeah, pretty much one last little blink. And my thoughts incoming in one. Okay, so this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I am obsessed. Okay, yeah, I was moving my head around like a weirdo some more so you could see all the shifts and stuff. But um, yeah, this literally looks like an apple picking field on my face, and I am like living for it because I'm getting all the autumn feels it is so hot in Georgia it's really really hot in Georgia right now so like anything that gives me like the spooky autumn feels like yeah I'm here for it um because literally Halloween's all year round with me so which you probably know but anyways um since this was just like a get ready with me and just combining two palettes that um you know, I hadn't had a chance to do by themselves. Um, I have combined them previously with the with the Amunet New Palette. Um, and there's a look on my Instagram um, with those three palettes from like a couple weeks ago. But I was just blown away by this color combo and how pretty this looks together and like you know me I am not about to do the most like basic look with, with and there's nothing wrong with that but just for me I like unexpected I like curated color stories that I can mix up and combine every matte with every shimmer and different shimmers you know from different palettes and, and vice versa so like I thought this was really a really pretty nice look um you know using a formula from a brand that I love um, but yeah so Heather killed the Heather Austin and adept collab like literally for someone that's been watching her channel for a very long time like I expected nothing but like perfection in my eyes because I love grungy pigmented deep mattes and then sparkly like heavenly sparkly shades like and she gave us all of that like the mattes in that palette are so blendable to the point where like if you watched the whole video you saw this pao2 shade which is the burgundy on my outer corner like it literally looked like i had more than one shade on and i was just blending that first shade out so like that is so 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 important to me for days when i don't have time um and then House of L, like, hands down, like, you don't even know how much I love <laughs> just that one row of multi-chromes, like, takes the words out of my brain, like, it is so beautiful, like, they're both beautiful, both of these palettes that I used, but I'm sorry, this... I don't care if every video that I use this palette in, I'm going to show you that multi-chrome right there by my pinky, Zorel. Like that one. And just this whole row is just so pretty. But I'm glad today that I got to um, play with um, the shade and the shade. You know, the red is what I have under here. And then um, Jor-El, yes. 
Jor-El, the minty shade, is what I have bridging Passport and Smith. Like, gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. Every time I look at this palette, I instantly want to use it. Same thing with the Heather Austin palette, but, like, I, I don't know. There's something about this. Like, they killed this palette. Um, I know it just restocked. I'm not sure if it sold out. I have a feeling it probably is because I know so, so many people missed it on the initial launch. Um, so, like, I don't know if they're going to bring it back again if it's already sold out. But, like, if they do and you haven't got it yet and you want it, like, I would definitely say set a couple alarms because these palettes don't last. Um, yes. Anyway. I don't want to make this video too, too long because it really was just a get ready with me combining the two palettes that I haven't been able to do. So makeup makes me happy. Like makeup literally saved my life and it continues to save my life on a daily basis. Like, so I don't care how stupid I sound, you know, I know plenty of other people on here that makeup makes just as happy as it makes me. So I don't really care. I am not alone in this. So I, that's fine. Um, but if that is not how you feel about makeup that's okay but you might be watching the wrong channel because makeup literally gives me so much joy so anyway I mean doesn't matter why you're here if you like my content then I appreciate having you so anyway um basically um we have a family friend here so I am gonna get my ass off the camera I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you're from um, or wherever you're watching from. I hope to see you back again sometime soon. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment about your favorite Adept palette, your favorite color combo, um, anything. Yeah, I love hearing your thoughts in the comments. Um, and I would love to, you know, make some friends on here that feel the same way I do about makeup. So anyway, I'm leaving and I hope you guys have a great night and I will talk to you again soon and subscribe please if you like my content and my other socials will be down below in the description box so yeah I'm leaving all right toodaloo